Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you guys how to solve a physics roller coaster question using the law of conservation of energy. So first off, let's read out this question, which is, a roller coaster starts from rest at point A. What is its speed at point B if the track is frictionless? So in order to solve this problem, the first thing we have to do is we have to write out our law of conservation of energy equation. So we look at where the roller coaster starts, which is point A. And since point A is 12 meters off the ground, Therefore, it has some potential energy, which we can write as EPI. And there is no initial kinetic energy because it says in the question that the roller coaster starts from rest. So we can ignore that. So EPI turns into EKF, which is kinetic energy final, because as the cart goes down the track, its potential energy gets con converted into kinetic energy. And we can ignore thermal energy or friction because it says in the question, that the track is frictionless, so we can ignore Q. So if we write this out, this turns into the mass times gravity times height, which is equal to one half the mass times velocity squared. So right away we notice that the mass is the same on both sides because it's the same mass of the roller coaster that goes down the track. So we can actually cancel out the masses. So now gravity on Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared, which is 9.8 times the height, which is equal to one half velocity squared. So now concerning the height, one thing I want to say is that technically we could still add a potential energy final to our equation because point B is still four meters off the ground and therefore has potential energy. But there's a little shortcut we can do, which is we can create a new reference point at the height of point B, which what that does is it lowers the potential energy of point A, but then completely gets rid of the potential energy at point B because we've essentially moved the ground up four meters because the ground was previously our reference point, but now it's this. So all we have to do to do this is we have to subtract 12 uh, by four, which gives us eight. So 9.8 times eight, which becomes the height, um, one half velocity squared. So now all we have to do is we have to multiply 9.8 by eight. So 9.8 times eight, gives us 78.4, which is equal to one half velocity squared. Multiply this side by two, multiply this side by two. We get 156.8, which is equal to velocity squared. Root this side, root this side. We end up with velocity equals 13 meters per second. 